Blast it all! I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... Mm, bah. Plants are not my area of expertise. You cannot be serious! I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. Afraid? I simply do not want to waste my valuable time being lectured on archaic moral dichotomies! Yes, I admit that I am frustrated. Under normal circumstances, I could do this without assistance. <sighs> Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it and be quick about it. Please. Mm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. Waft, don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> ah, so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel, cinnamon, uh, black tea, each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents, <coughs> uh, oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid, a common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. Oh, cool. 
cool. Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. Now. Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Yes, one wants to learn, not to receive long-winded insults. But, one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. Ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, 
and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Ah, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step one of 17, preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. That's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do.
nice. Well, if that's the this might be a long... Fantastic. All right, everybody. Team meeting. Thanks for meeting, everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, yeah? Indeed. I must say, I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shilda, what did you find out about Mother Nature A? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet toxins still. Just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap. A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Sheldon. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flutely. Things simply are. Using my words against me. Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh. Please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! Oh, you missed it, Triff Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm. I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Triff Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. <laughs> Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball! Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will- Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Gotcha! <sighs> you 
You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform Orbacula Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Woo! We finally got a way in! Nice teamwork, everybody! Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh yeah! Big Strabby! Center yourself, Chan Lo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? Oh, come check this out! Whoa! Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm, there seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a jolt from the snack grappler to activate. Uh oh. Oh, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit! Ready yourselves! A grave danger approaches! Bros. I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again.
It's the adrenaline talking, but that's the best bug snack I've ever had! Whew. All right, let's check if everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping! <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Portal come out of there. Ha! <laughs> if the Cheddar Portal could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, Or perhaps the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Islands don't generally want things, Chandlow. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good to me. Fun. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Wonderful! And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. <laughs> You're in one piece. And I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! Trithany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? 
Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure. I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh, if you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg! <laughs>